Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. I was also back with another excited video tutorial. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this cool-looking uh, inflate cloth effect inside this Anma 4D without using any plugin. So it's really easy and straightforward. Let's play what we're gonna create. So, so I will show you how you can create this kind of cool effect inside this Anma 4D. So I'm using R20, so you can use also any version of that, uh, latest than 15, I think. Just close, uh, we create a new file. So we create a new scene, we just add a more graph text here. Try to choose a round font, so I'm gonna use E letter for that, you can use anything else. So just try to use uh, round and bold font. So I'm gonna use any bold font here. This one starts looking good for me. A little bit more bold, like that. Oh. Copper, 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 copper. Okay, that's looking good. Great for me. We just rotate it to. Uh, so more we pick it a bit up on our floor take it down now just turn on the car shading lines just add a little bit more line like that just add caps going caps add a fillet cap take a radius down just add one more step if you want. Hex in go down in type and just change it uh, and go into quarter angles and check this regular grid and take it down like 0 0.01 or more high resolution geometry. So that's looking great. We go in object here. So that is okay for me. So now it's looking okay. We need to we just ready to go. Just editable. Just duplicate this file and make it editable. Just press C or click on this button and open these all groups and take it take this outside. Press C again. Make it editable. And we need to just this one, uh, this cap. We just turn off the car shading for now. We just need this one cap for make simulation. We just turn. We don't use any other tab, uh, any other object. For just we need to take out this from this group. So here we go. Now we have our object already. Uh, we don't need to connect these all uh, polygons. We need just uh, this top cap, this one. So that's why we need to take this out. If you want not to take out, it's okay. But it's looking okay. it's uh, easy to do some stuff. So we don't need to connect this all object. We just need uh, this cap here. So what we can do, we just take it out from this group. So now we apply a simulation cloth tab. First we uh, apply cloth and uh, then we apply simulation cloth spell. So now we go in select point selection mode and we just press U L or just simply go in select and click on loop selection and check this select boundary loop. So as you can see when you select boundary loop, so it's gonna select your all uh, the point on your edges or on boundaries. So now click select, go in select tab and set selection. Click on bell tag and drag and drop this cap one in bullet bell tone. Just click on uh, set points. As you can see, when you click on set points, so it's gonna turn into a yellow color. So it's mean it's so, uh, all points fixed in one uh, one place. It's not gonna simulate with this cloth. 
affected so let's go in close terminal do some changing so we just stiffness is okay rotation is okay flexion is okay rubber let's change to 25 just try to play around this setting for more good result Going portion, take gravity to zero, drag for two, and green direction on y axis 0.5, and on z axis zero, insert transpire, and all other animation is looking good. So now if we hit play, let's see what happen. As you can see, it's already gonna work here. So let's try to use. Uh, uh, round and bold font so it give you a great result so we just uh, as you can see it's already looking great but we add something more mass here we just change the mass to four as you can see it's more wavy and roughness inside this so you can play around rubber don't afraid to play this with these settings so as you can see when we apply rubber So outfit like okay, it's looking more wavy and what we say Let's change the frame to 200. Okay, but it's too much, we just change it to 5. Change the size to 120. I think there's some bug there, so that's why we just change it to one time. Now you can add more geometry by adding a uh, what we say cloth surface tab on it. So as you can see now it's more give you high resolution look so for rendering i'm using redshift but i don't have redshift right now inside what we say r20 so i'm gonna use uh arnold for that so i just open ipr window and add a sky So we just change the color to a little bit like that. So we just add a texture and this sky map here. So we just create a Arnold shader, simple surface material. Just apply it on this object and change this color to uh, something like orange. Right. Just a uh, no roughness. We don't need any roughness right now. That's why it is made. Just add a coating on it. So some give it more reflection. Stream this down here. And in rounding, we just apply white. So that's how you create this kind of uh, look inside this Anma 4D. So 
I'm not gonna go in through the whole rendering procedure. So it's all about this close, uh, close simulation. So I hope you like this video. If you like this, if you have any 